Check one, two, three, check. Oh, hi students! Hello students, welcome to meeting six of English literature with me, Miss Allen. Our topic today is narrative text. Narratives are a very popular genre for students as it provides an opportunity for you to share your imagination, creativity, skill, and understanding of nearly all elements of writing. On occasion, we refer to a narrative as creative writing or story writing. Well, what's the purpose of narrative tags? The purpose of the narrative tags is simple. It's to tell the audience a story. It can be written to motivate, to educate, or most commonly, to entertain. Narratives can be both fact or fiction. Alright, I will tell you the examples of narrative. Check this video out. Okay, now let's take a look on the general structure of narrative. As you know, narrative text has four parts. The first one is orientation. Second one, we have complication. Number three, we have resolution. And number four, we have coda or reorientation. I'll explain to you one by one. This is the illustration of structuring a narrative. The first stage is orientation or exposition. It is the setting of the scene. You have to set the scene by introducing your characters, setting, and time of the story. Next, you will have problem. And then you go to the rising action. This is the complication stage. In this section, activities and events involving your main characters are expanded upon. These events are written in a cohesive and fluent sequence. And then what is in the climax? The climax of the story is the dramatic high point of the action. And then you will go down to the falling action and the resolution. Your complication is resolved in this section. It doesn't have to be a happy outcome, however. And the last part, we have reorientation. In this section, we will write the moral story and also the changing situation of the whole chronological order. Next, we will talk about the language features of narrative text. We have four features. The first one is language. We have to use descriptive and figurative language that will paint the image inside your audience's minds as they read it. Number two, we have perspective. Perspectives in narratives can be written from any perspective but are most commonly written in first and third person. Number three, we have dialogue. In narratives, we frequently switch from narrator to the first person dialogue. We always use speech marks when writing dialogue. And the last one is about tense. If you change tense, make it perfectly clear to your audience what's happening. The common tenses used in the narratives are simple past and simple present, but you also can use another tenses. Alright, because I will assign you to write a narrative text, here are some tips for you to write a good narrative. Check it out! Are you wondering how to write a great narrative essay? It's easy if you follow the right steps. Start by coming up with an idea with vivid and imaginative details. The goal of a narrative essay is to tell the reader a story. A narrative essay is not the same as a story. 
even though a narrative essay tells a story, it's still a work of nonfiction. The writer is expected to write about an experience that actually happened. A narrative story is one that is based on a person's experiences and is intended to tell a story that follows the same life cycle as the human life with a beginning and end. Before writing your essay, consider the five elements of the narrative arc, exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Remember to use all five senses in your narrative, describing, taste, touch, sight, scent, and sound will bring your story to life. Don't let the reader down with an anti-climax. Do build your story with empathy and strong imagery. Don't use complex techniques to jump to parallel or inconsistent time periods. Do remember, your goal is to share an experience with your reader by telling a story. All right, I think that's all about our meeting today. Please check your worksheet in your group class and submit it on time. See you in the next video. Bye students!